Hi everybody. Hey there. Happy Sunday, fun day. So I am making a cookie out of a mashed up banana and coconut and pineapple Dole Whip thing that I had made up. And these cookies turned out absolutely lovely. I want to remember my recipe so I'm going to say it real quick. Mmm. Um. I still have more stuff to make it. Oh, I got him. I have six bananas mashed up with a whole can of crushed tomatoes and a whole bag of um, coconut in there. And I am just making it into banana bread. I'm throwing it into cookies and putting dark chocolate chips in it. It's turning out lovely. Look at this cookie, you guys. Okay, so take a bunch of bananas, maybe five, six, pulse them up in your blender with a can of crushed tomato, crushed tomato, crushed, crushed or chunk pineapple, and then just keep half of the juice, take the rest away. And then a whole bag of um, sweet, unsweetened coconut. Just pulse it all up with your mashed bananas. Pop it in your refrigerator, get it good and cold. And then follow the banana recipe for this farm girl cooks, Lauren. And use that combination of mashed banana and pineapple. And then... Um, make a banana bread which I made yesterday which is called Hawaiian and then today I took a regular oatmeal cookie and I just added this stuff to it I took uh, two and a half cups of flour one tablespoon of cinnamon one teaspoon of baking soda all sifted together so two and a half cups of all-purpose flour six 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 one teaspoon of baking soda a half a teaspoon of baking powder um, half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of cinnamon, just shook that all in. Um, then kept my dry ingredients on the side. Then I took about about half of this amount, about a cup, about a cup, that's about two cups. So about a cup's worth of this went into my end of my ingredients. So then I took two large eggs that were room temperature, one stick of margarine and one stick of unsalted butter and softened that up and took a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar mixed my sugars with my two eggs that were room temperature and my one stick of margarine i use imperial and one stick of unsalted butter one teaspoon a heaping teaspoon of vanilla um then i added my dry ingredients a little at a time and mixed that in with a wooden spoon and then i added this and then I added to my chocolate, my dark chocolate chips, um, some flour, and I mixed them up, and then I put them in and stirred them up. And the pineapple is just really nice with the banana and the dark chocolate. It's just really nice. So, kind of a cakey cookie. Two cups of um, old-fashioned oatmeal um, oat. That's it. I guess you could throw raisins in it or anything else too. Mmm. Look. You know they're good because. I mean, look at that. About 12 minutes. I tried different sizes of scoops. Like that's a large scoop. And this is a small scoop. So. What I've been doing in between making the cookies is putting my bowl of, um, you don't even have to use that. That's, that's a good cookie. Um, I'm going to remember this recipe. Um, you don't even have to use, like, one of these things. You could just pick them up. And it, it kind of is like a cake. It turned out really good. It's kind of like a banana bread cookie, but better. Better, better. It's the cinnamon and the sugar. And the dark chocolate with the pineapple. Oh my god, it's so good. Look at the size of that one. 
I, I always like to make a couple of big ones and see what's the spreadability. So I think because I you honestly I think the trick to this one was I didn't go all butter. Some recipes will say all butter. I went half margarine. Or if you had shortening, half shortening. And that's something I learned from um, a gal that used to make our giant chocolate chip cookies at my dad's restaurant. We had the best chocolate chip cookies around. Her name was Roz Clancy. Hello, Roz, if you're out there. And she always said, her father was a baker. Uh, a big baker. She always said, she made cookies like that were this big. She always said, if a recipe calls for two cups of flour, put three cups in. If a recipe calls for a half a cup of butter, put a fourth of a cup of margarine and a fourth of a cup of butter. If it calls for a whole cup of butter, put a half a cup of margarine and a half a cup of butter. And always when it comes to cookies, beat your wet ingredients, your sugar and your flour if you have to. I mean your sugar and your eggs if you have to, but if it's room temperature enough, use your hand. And then don't use your beater to be putting in your flour. I mean, just use a wooden spoon in your hand and keep going in the same direction. Always take your cookies out just like a little bit before. Oh, I guess I ate my cookie. I was looking for the rest, but there it is. <laughs> too bad. And then take it out just a little before because it's going to keep baking. So 